And we are live for EFW Destruction from our spiritual home, the compound. I'm Max Radix alongside the former NEW World Heavyweight Champion Owen. And what a destruction, Owen, that we have tonight. Oh yeah, what a build up to Riot once again. EFW have pulled out all the stops. Absolutely, I mean, I can confirm tonight, Erwin, we know all about it tonight. Wade Nelson will defend his EFW World Heavyweight Championship again against Snake here tonight. Well, strings have been pulled to get that one, if you ask me. There's not a chance that that came as uh, for any other reason other than talk backstage. Genius. Pure, sheer genius. I mean, Nelson cheated last night anyway, so it's only right that Snake gets a secondary match, in my opinion. Well, I didn't see any cheating going on. I, I once again think this is Snake somehow slithering his way into the decisions, into the matchmaking backstage. That's that. I think, I think that's just paranoia, Owen. Paranoia speaking from lesser men. Snake has just once again managed to put himself into this prime position for the EFW World Heavyweight Champion. He should be our champion. He's, he's, a, he's an 18 year veteran. He's a seven time world champion. Could you imagine the marquee alone if Snake was EFW's world champion? He, he could redefine this company. Well if Wade Nelson keeps up the performance he has it won't really matter who he faces. Well yeah, Wade Nelson the luckiest champion in EFW history will be will be in action later tonight. We're going to kick it off with, a, with our other champion here in EFW. It's our women's heavyweight champion, Sakamoto Dixon, the queen of strong style, five foot nine, 135 pounds from Bangkok, Thailand. Her first EFW heavyweight championship uh, reign, Erwin, uh, yet yet to defend. A title as, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, has not uh, defended that title yet. We of course will name a number one contender for Dixon's title later tonight in a fatal four-way matchup. And of so course, Dixon's wait will soon be over, Erwin. And I can imagine she's looking to beat uh, her previous, the previous champion's record of 50 days. She's currently at 14. Still a long way to go. A long way to go indeed, and of course Friday was the fighting champion, Sakamoto Dixon. I'm sure we'll want to be the same. As I as I as I said moments ago, we will have a fatal four-way tonight. To determine this lady's number one contender, which should be a great, great matchup. Of course tonight she's there. she's gonna have to be at her best is Dixon because she faces her old rival Riley Patterson. And these two have had quite the rivalry in EFW, Owen. Oh yeah, and I, I think Riley's definitely going to be the fan favourite here tonight with the uh, boos that are being hurled out by the crowd here at Saka. Venomous, venomous reaction from the compound faithful, this lively crowd in Liverpool, 3,000 strong sellout crowd from the compound. Sakamoto Dixon with the longest entrance in EFW. Mercifully, it hasn't become longer due to her title win. Yeah, that's a, imagine that. That's a one positive at least. And here we go. The student of Funk U, Riley Patterson. The mixed martial artist boxer. Tough as, she, tough as they come. Endorsed by the legendary Cowboy Roy. Well, it's yeah, been quite. Yeah. It's been quite a month for Riley Patterson, five foot seven, one hundred and thirty-five pounds from Wachlow, Poland. And apparently, she was uh, ecstatic at hearing that Cowboy Roy had give, basically given her the thumbs up. Well, I mean, you know, the Cowboy does not give endorsements lightly, so he must see something in this kid, Patterson. I know a lot of guys in the back are real, real, really hot on Riley. She's a, she's a tremendous athlete, a future women's tight champion. Many many people have said this match is non-title, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Patterson has not earned the right to face Dixon yet for the title, but some would say it's only a matter of time. Well, if she beats Dixon here tonight, surely she should uh, she should earn it, even if the number one contender is already oh, being searched. Oh. Suplex! What a vicious vicious maneuver by Dixon after a lock-up. The two ladies. 
danced around the ring for a little bit and then Dixon changed the game with that vicious German suplex, the Queen of Strong Style not messing about. Patterson fighting back with a missile drop kick from nowhere. Patterson of course known for an unorthodox style Owen. Oh yeah. And it's oh. working so far, German suplex. Release German suplex by Patterson, cashing that check on Dixon early on in this match. Oh! What a suplex. A vicious manoeuvre. Patterson on the middle rope. Looking to cause a little damage here to the champion. Oh! Vicious knee. Tremendous knee. Goes for a pin, turn us down. Well, we get to one too early, I would say. Dick Dixon still in this European uppercut by Patterson. She's been rocked so far, though. Trying to get some offense in now. Absolutely, yeah, Dixon. Every time she faces Patterson, seems to be a little bit surprised by the oh, veracity Word. and the attack. My God, speaking of veracity, just backdropped onto the apron. Absolutely brutal backdrop. The spine of Patterson on the wood. The frame of the ring. At the very edge as well. It's sharp. Oh, Ted first into the ring post. Jesus. Sickening oh. fud. And that mean streak of Sakamoto Dixon. Oh, and she's going to the top row. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh. Double big, knees. Big double knee right to the heart of Patterson. Oh, the, the, the damn brace. Utilizing, utilizing this 10 count to full effect. And how many times has Riley Patterson's head been battered off that ring post? Skull to steel. Sickening, no, sickening force. Crusher there. Turner still counting. On to seven. Riley reversing there though, needs to get back in this quickly. Yeah, I, I don't know how Patterson's still standing after that brutal attack on the outside, but she is and she's fighting back. Oh, oh. big hit, hit toss. toss. Classic jawbreaker oh, by Dixon. Again. Great response by the champion. Oh, Fireman Carry counter. Fireman Carry. Patterson, with those quick hands, now oh. suplex. Getting a little bit of momentum here, feeding off the crowd, feeding off our injuries. Sound familiar, Owen? Oh yeah, most definitely. On the, sh on the shoulders goes Dixon. Never said die attitude. Once again has the champion rocked. The new Rangers in town. Oh, where the hell, where the hell is she going? Fly. Oh no, come on now. Surely not! Cost of course! Cost. My God! What a manoeuvre! What well, absolute airtime there by Panister going cost of cost! Pulling we, out all the stops and still the champion fights back. You do not see that one every day. Well, three of war. Panister in trouble now, the champion fighting back. Oh! Double knees right to the spine. Lumbar check there from Sakamoto oh. Dixon. And those diving knees again, Owen, right to the stern of Patterson. Going Going for a pin here, it could be enough. Could very well no. be enough, but Patterson still has some fight left in her. What an opening matchup tonight between Sakamoto Dixon and Riley Patterson. Oh, Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper submission too close to the ropes. Turner tells Dixon to break the hole. It's good officiating there by our official. Very good. Left hand by Dixon. Oh! Exploder suplex there. That banded exploder suplex by Dixon out of nowhere. The sheer speed and aggression of that suplex. Oh! It frightens me every time. Those knees to the head again. Oh! Huge to Patterson. Oh, that's a human being. How much punishment can one skull take? Patterson still trying to get to her feet, kick oh, that down. Shit, Shit Saka! Shit Saka! It's over! It, it is. is! 
the champion pulling it back out of the bag perhaps Dixon, knowing that given this match going on any longer could have fallen into Patterson's favour decides to finish it then and there well Patterson once again has fell to Sakamoto Dixon Riley Patterson has never beaten Sakamoto Dixon one on one and that unfortunate run continues here tonight despite her improvement despite the fight Riley Patterson has lost to the champion once again non-title or not that's going to affect Patterson psychologically Owen well again a really good effort but yeah too many uh, too many losses regardless are going to start to eat away at you Dixon seems to have Patterson's number I'm sure there'll be another day for those two every time they get into the ring together it's magic Sakamoto Dixon is victorious the champion with a big statement over a fiercest rival arguably but what a way to kick off destruction from the compound live tonight. Well, we're continuing with the women and one who was uh, not able to make it yesterday due to family commitments that she was still heading back. But she's here now and we're going to see something extreme, I bet, even though it is just a normal one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, absolutely. Super Tornado has returned to EFW. 5'2", 126 pounds from Durango, Mexico, Tornado, the, the, the Luchadora, the Extreme Luchadora, a relative new addition to EFW, will face the Red Dragon, Cynthia Violet. Violet, of course, was involved in the tag team tournament to, uh, to name a new number one women's heavyweight championship contender. She's not successful. And she will face Tornado tonight, who was not even in that tournament due to those travel commitments. And Tornado, Tornado is likely to feel slightly aggrieved that she missed out on that opportunity. Well, yeah, I imagine so. But if you, if somehow, somewhere, you are not familiar with the lucha style of wrestling, well, you're looking at someone who was trained by someone who also trained the five-time NEW Tag Team Champions. He also manages them and also wrestles himself. And the yeah. Super Tornado currently not wanting anything to do with him due to uh, his attitude. That man of course being Romero Diaz. Super Tornado was, was, was trained by the Mexican icon. And every Love time... Him him. He's a legend of Mexican wrestling. And every time Super Tornado is on the card, I get a little excited. I mean, it's just crazy to see what she can do. Oh, she, she's absolutely insane. There's no, there's no question about that. The Extreme Luchador is certainly one to watch in EFW, but so is the Red Dragon, Cynthia Violet. 5'5", 135 pounds from Seattle, Washington. Many people were in this lady's corner for the number one contendership tournament that was that has been uh, held over the last few weeks here in EFW but Cynthia Violet just couldn't get it done will, will not be in the fatal forward to determine the number one contender the oh, Red yeah. Dragon is bound to be disappointed by that and she'll want to be she'll want an impressive victory over the returning tornado who will also want to make an impression here Irwin tonight both these ladies with a hell of a lot to prove tonight in EFW well yeah Violet and Don Dullinger of course beaten by Morales and Faria in, a, in an absolutely brilliant tag team clinic Cynthia Violet well She's already made a name for herself here in EFW, that's for sure. Well, we always say in NEW and EFW we have the hottest women and tag team divisions in professional wrestling, so when you combine the two, you generally get magic. And this match should be an absolute cracker between Tornado and Violet Violet. Kicks off quickly with a snapmare suplex to Tornado. Violet starting off strong. Off! Oh, Ferocious as ever. Backbreaker by the dragon. But right oh. next to the rope, so I'll turn this movie. I have to watch that one carefully. Violet's not afraid to break a rule or two. Oh, yeah, definitely going to stretch him as you can in both NEW and EFW. Of course, the uh, in ring ruling still remains the same. Yeah, Turner's word is law, as is with Shatopa and NEW. The referee really does. 
Tornado. Call the shots. Yeah. Oh, Tornado. 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 First plant. That is, that's a, that's a, that's a unique spin on a classic manoeuvre, a two a tilt a whirl face buster there for Cynthia Violet at the Dragon Violet Revealing. could be in oh, trouble now as Tornado, Tornado begins Tornado. to build up momentum yeah tremendous, tremendous hurricane Matt Rather on the wave of him, Matt on the outside Violet is rocking but responds with authority with a hurricane Rather of her own well I, I would probably hesitate oh, to say it, Violet has the strength advantage. Yeah, and the reach. Uh, slightly taller than Tornado, longer legs, you can see that. So Violet does have that in her uh, in her arsenal tonight. Tornado is definitely more suicidal, but Violet, well, she can stay a little bit further away from those crazy feet of Super Tornado. Could be looking for a count out here. Oh. Back to nine. Violet realizes. Oh, gets back in the ring. Oh, oh back my in. word, that was close. Literally a millisecond away from a ten count. Oh, and Tornado that's there given, with a sling blade. That's given Tornado the advantage, though. Slightly quicker back to her feet as, as both ladies got back into the ring. After a European uppercut, you see those vicious feet. And Tornado connecting with a big way to Tornado. Going for a pin. Bring it the pin. Only a one, Violet kicks out. This has changed momentum in this matchup. Tornadoes all of a sudden is in control. Cynthia Violet fights back. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, oh headbutt oh, again. Good lord, what headbutts by Violet. Three or four hard shots. Just choking the life out of Tornado. All legal here in EFW. Turner started the count of five. Tornado released. Violet now going to oh. the middle rope with a splash. Crossbody splash going for a pin. This could be all. Tornado hasn't moved. Oh no. Bridge is out after one. But yeah, still quite a strong kick out, but she is in trouble here. Still some bite left in the dog. Cynthia Violet continues her attack. Guillotine. On to Tornado. This match is getting a uh, oh, ugly. Oh, back to the head, but like more vicious headshots by Violet. Tornado must be seeing stars. The lost Luchadores, the extreme Luchadora, in big trouble tonight against the Red Dragon, Cynthia Violet. Oh, oh what a neck breaker! Just methodically picking her apart piece by piece. Cynthia Violet showing the world what she can do. Oh! Spinning Michinoku driver. Well, that's it. Oh, sheer aggression. Violet, I believe, could have gone for a pin there, Rue, and oh, just most chose definitely. to inflict more damage on Super Tornado. She has not took that loss of an opportunity for the women's title well as Cynthia Violet we've seen <laughs> this before though my word that has to be it the dragon driver no, no. super tornado how did you get out of that showing that resilience I think you could maybe count the amount of women on one hand who have kicked out of the dragon driver and now Tornado is starting to fight back once again. Can she build up momentum enough? Great power in Tornado's legs. Maybe it, maybe she's absorbed the pain for this moment right here. Oh, oh Hurricane, Hurricane Rana Rana. right off the ropes. Tremendous speed and agility by Super Tornado. That's what made her famous. Oh, misses with the elbow completely, overshoots Violet, that's going to give Violet an opportunity here, Tornado knows that style, that dangerous style can cost her sometimes, it has given Violet time to get back to her feet, and gets the neck breaker, no, Tornado, Tornado counters, Tornado counters, and another hurricane, swinging, her, swinging Tornado, hurricane rather, she got lucky there, Tornado has to keep on Violet, oh yeah, Violet is rocked, Backdrop! Backdrop! Could be a pivotal manoeuvre right there. Oh, goes 
using those legs. Starts on a submission. Timothy Violet is rocked now. Yeah, it's showing very little signs of life after this explosion from Super Tornado. Well, the explosion of kicks and suplexes have finally taken taken their toll on the Red Dragon oh Springboard God. Elbow. That one connected. My God, that one connected. What an elbow drop by Super She's Tornado. Going up top this time. But they're risking all again, Erwin. High risk for a reason. Waiting for Violet to get to her feet. Violet on her feet. Not oh, oh my word. The super stunner. That has to be. Tornado stunner there. That had to be. Wow, I've never seen anything quite like that in my entire life. Tornado picking up a victory. Practically a star card stunner off the top row. Oh yeah, reminiscent of uh, Ember Moon's Eclipse there. Rev the <laughs> reminiscent the of the Rattlestick. The Super Tornado Stunner from the top row. Never, say, never saw Steve Austin pull off a stunner like that. That was no. insane. Puts away the elbow. dragon. An incredible victory here Look in EFW. Look at that. Look at that. That's the Super incredible. Tornado. The red is athleticism and yes indeed a great great victory here tonight for the uh, resident of Durango, Mexico, Super Tornado of a Cynthia Violet, one of the hottest, uh, hottest properties in EFW, Super Tornado got a big big win here tonight, arguably I would say one of her biggest in EFW today Erwin. Oh yeah most definitely, what a victory over the Red Dragon. Cynthia Violet. Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, after that impressive victory by Tornado, we are going to see the European Championship defended here tonight. It will be Kobayashi and the Dog in a ladder match for the European Championship. First of two titles that are on the line here tonight. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, this is uh, Kobayashi. It's going to be Kobayashi's second defence here of the European Championship. Our attempt to defend, shall we say, of course, the stipulations to the uh, newly introduced European Championship that if, unless a cham champion is injured, then the championship must be defended at least twice within a 30 day time period. If the champion is injured for more than 30 days, then he will be stripped of said championship. Very, very interesting stipulation here in the FW. Of course, it does not apply to new extremes. No, just to not. extreme force wrestling. Yeah, this is this is this is uh, only an EFW stipulation. It, it's it's been we, quite interesting to see that the in-ring rules remain the same, and yet the outside rules are what really differentiate the developmental from the big big, big league. Yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't agree more. When we have talked about the slight differences, the slight nuances between the developmental company and, of course, as you as you put it, the big leagues of NEW. I mean, there are differences, but uh, you need to be paying attention, really, to, to see what they are. The dog, however, knows what a big night this could be for this young man's career. Stands in at six foot three and two hundred and twenty pounds from the great wrestling county of Memphis, Tennessee. Huge, huge, huge opportunity here for the dog after picking up a victory last night. Of course. You know, he's been mentored by some of the Memphis greats as the dog. He, 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 was, uh, he was trained by the legendary trainer, Al Snow. He's got a hell of a lot of pedigree, this young man. I know you're very, very hot on the dog. Oh, quite capable of becoming the European champion here tonight. Oh, of course. But, sorry, no, go on. I was going to say, but he faces what some would call the king of the ladder match. Oh, I mean, I as TV champion. Most of his defences were ladder matches and most of them were successful. Oh absolutely, Gobayashi really is the master of this, uh, master of the ladder. 5'10 and 230 pounds, the self-proclaimed television champion, now officially the European champion. Gobayashi, it's yeah. interesting to see him in that he's still wearing that TV championship t-shirt. Oh yeah, clearly still likes the idea 
because he held that championship for 128 days when he did have it. He held this one for eight. Will he make it to nine? Well, yes, the current European champion and the former television champion, Kobayashi, his career has been revitalized here in DFW. Kobayashi, it's fair to say his career in NEW had hit, hit a wall, but he's, he seems more focused, he seems more determined than ever, and this European title could be exactly what this man, Kobayashi, the Japanese icon, really needs. Well, yeah, somewhat of a, a revitalized career here as he defends his newly won European Championship for a second time. A second time in 30 days that Kobayashi has defending, defended his title, therefore honouring the stipulation of the European title. The dog, however, with a Northern Lights suplex gets his match off to a quick start. On the shoulders goes Kobayashi. Oh my word, big knees to the head by the dog. This is a good, good start by the man from Memphis. Well, yeah, knows that he can't give the veteran much time here. What a, what a night already it has been at the compound. Oh, absolutely incredible night here. Third match in. So much has gone on this week. Oh, uh, big. Almost big elbow. Overfilled on wrestling. It's been such a week and there's still more to come. Riot 7, of course, on Sunday. Don't you dare miss it, it should be a hell of an event. Oh, definitely, a knockout match. Cowboy Roy and GBH, oh. that alone is worth watching. What an explorer suplex by the dog. Well, we've got a match right here worth watching. The definitely. dog and Kobe Yashi are ripping each other apart. What an explorer by the dog from nowhere. The champion's in trouble here. Well, yeah, showing, showing very little offense. Kobayashi not starting off as he would like, I don't think, but oh. fighting back. Kobayashi, the veteran, is outside. The lariat going, going home here on the outside is Kobayashi, well versed in this extreme type of matchup. A veteran of VFW, uh, and then, uh, excuse me, a veteran of NEW. Of course, growing up in Japan, he is very familiar with the strong style, so we know he can take one hell of a beating. Oh, absolutely, he can dish one out just the same. In Japan. Oh, throwing the dog into the ladder. I heard a rumor that Kobayashi and Crazy Hammer were a tag team. So, oh, what a, what a neck breaker. So, bear in mind that Crazy Hammer does not make friends lightly. Wow. It just shows you how tough Kobayashi is. Arm breaker. Oh, I mean, do not underestimate this guy. He's been on a hell of a run since he came to EFW. He had a bit of a slow start, but once he found his feet, well, he's been pretty much unstoppable, Erwin. Yeah, revitalized career after proclaiming himself a TV champion once again and then becoming a European champion. Well, it was just that crazy. It worked for Kobayashi. The dog wavers fighting oh. back with that big, big suplex on the outside on that wafer fin mat. And it's, it's wood underneath that. You can see it. You can see what the fans are stand, standing on. That's pine on the spine, ladies and gentlemen. It's not pretty. No, oh. Most definitely not. God, the skull of Kobayashi getting bounced off that man again by the dog. Kobayashi responds in kind. Rattling the body of the dog and a big suplex, a big T-bone, the dog lands on his head. Kobayashi follows up with a swift kick to the neck. This match is getting ugly quickly. Yeah, Kobayashi is starting to fight back now against the rookie. European Championship still dangling above the ring. A ladder has oh, not entered the ring. Leg sweep into the steps. You heard the head of Kobayashi bounce off the steel from here. That has to. Oh, and again. With authority, and that has to put this match into the house of the dog. Well, of course, anything goes here. Oh. It's only over once someone released those pesky clasps on that championship. Well, this would be a great time, in my opinion, for the dog to try and get a halt, try and start releasing those clasps on that championship. We know how long that can take. 
We've seen it in these type of matches before. Neither man has he has attempted to go anywhere near that ladder yet. Oh, oh no, Kobayashi using one as a weapon earlier on, but that's been about it. Kobayashi using the dog's body as a weapon of destruction on that steam. Oh, oh my, my word, Meteora into the steps. Well, that could have well killed the dog. Kobayashi responds in kind after being Russian leg sweeped into the dog's steps. There's dog now seeing stars after that double knee. Oh, oh. and again, that big, big Get knee by Kobayashi. Oh, yes, yes, there it is. He's busted the dog open early. Oh, ramming his ribs into those steel steel barriers well this match has just back fallen back in favor of the champion who is now going for the ladders yeah boss it up open like a ripe melon a dog bleeding back to its feet profusely. oh big elbow spinning back elbow oh, and a DDT into the ladders trying to play a catch up with that one I think Oh, absolutely. The headshots are racking up for both men. The dog now Snaps in control. Him. What a suplex on Kobayashi. The dog. Oh. And another lariat. Kobayashi in the pace. corner as he flies in. Misses with a close line. Tremendous and energy. What his a hip hop. What athleticism by the dog. Just think about the punishment that that man has took to be able to do that with that much speed and aggression. It's truly amazing. The dog goes for the belt. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. Oh. Big elbow off the top of the ladder. Sweet Jesus, what an elbow drop by the dog. Wanted to make sure that he had time. To work on those clasps. Well, when you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> Kobayashi somehow still stirring. How is Kobayashi moving? You the that the elbow. What an elbow the drop that was by the dog. These fans are on their feet. Kobayashi's at the top of the ladder and he's fighting back with those big, big right hands. Throws the dog off the ladder and now it's Kobayashi's turn. He's fighting with those clasps. He's not messing around. Well, if, if the he dog... He wants to retain his European Championship, Owen. If the dog can get back up now, it might be a case of back and forth on top of that ladder. He's got to get but back up first. Kobayashi still, still battling with that title, battling with those clasps, trying to release it, trying to loosen it, doing everything he can to retain his European Championship. The dog is up, but he's got to be quick now. He's got to be quick. The dog has clearly lost the moment and pays up that ladder. Oh, oh yeah, big definitely shot. Not as fast and again, this time. and again to the ribs. Kobayashi holding on to the title. Knew he was close, but not oh. quite close enough. Slams the head of the dog off and the ladder. Again, throwing him off the ladder. Kobayashi. Determined to keep the that championship. Still on top of the ladder, still with a class in hand. The dog is still down. Kobayashi's been there for a while now. Yeah, that's a good long time long to work those on clasps? those clasps. Hold. That there yes. we go. It's all that Kobayashi retains. His second defense of the European Championship. Beating the dog. My God. Using all his veteran instinct there, Erwin, to absorb the punishment from the dog to keep plowing away at that title, just to keep chipping away at those clasps. Kobayashi retains the European Championship live tonight at Destruction. Incredible performance. Great the dog looking like he could have had it. A brutal oh. matchup. Once again, Kobayashi defends that European Championship. Tremendous efforts by both men in a European European Championship match. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have a final four-way to determine the, uh, the undisputed number one contender for the women's title. It's going to be Selena Figueroa, Morgan Morales, Farrier, and Rachel Romy in a fatal four-way matchup. I mean, I'm going to put you right on the spot, Erwin. 
who's your pick in this fatal four way to become the undisputed number one contender for Sakamoto Dixon's Women's Championship? Both Farrier and Romy have been there before. Farrier, of course, holding that title for 50 days surely has to give her the edge. Morales, however, has been on the up time and time again here. It could be her night. Well, I mean, come on, pick one. I'm going to put you on the spot. You're you named two or three people there. <laughs> Well, the former champion would be a good pick in this fatal four-way. I mean... Ooh, if I, if I was forced to make a choice, I... I you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shock a few people, and I'm going to say Selena Figueroa. I think she's been on the, quite a run as of late. As has Morales, you're quite right, but... I think Figueroa has got that little bit more experience in Mexico, and I think that could shine through here tonight. I would say she's probably the most uh, experienced woman in this matchup by some way, even with Farry's 50 day title reign. Well I would definitely argue that Rachel Romy is the underdog here despite being former women's champion. Yeah I, I, I would probably agree with that as well, Romy is still finding a feat since coming back after, uh, after losing the women's title, Morgan Morales on a hell of a run since she's come to EFW after betraying her tag team partner and mentor Green Girl Dynamite really hasn't looked back 5'5", 135 pounds Sacramento, California Morales on quite, quite a roll and, and you know if she was named number one contender tonight if she got a shot at Dixon could you imagine that match between two technical spectacles in Morgan Morales and Sacramento Dixon. It would certainly be an interesting one to see. Well here she is, the mistress of my games, the former women's champion, what a fighting champion she was. Farrier, 5'8", 152 pounds from Lisbon, Portugal, a former EFW World Heavyweight Women's Champion. Tremendous, tremendous champion. Tremendous talent. I mean, we didn't know much about Farrah when she first came into the FW. Well, frankly, we all thought she was a little bit weird. We, so, we soon came to learn that everything she does is for a reason. This entrance, her appearance, her moveset, there's a plan in place. And in fairness to Farrier here, she executed it perfectly for 50 days. Yeah. Defended it several times, but in the end, Sakamoto Dixon toppled her. I'm sure she'd like a rematch. Oh, and what a rematch that would be. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Sakamoto Dixon and Farrier go at it one more time? Tremendous, tremendous fight it was for the title. Farrier, of course, losing it to Dixon. It wasn't, it wasn't about putting up one hell of a fight, I can tell you that. And of course, Mono Morales and Farrier teaming up yesterday to, to emerge victorious in this number one contest, uh, contender search. Well, that's the interesting thing about this entire situation there. I mean, uh, some of these ladies have had to team up with each other to get to this point where they can beat the living holy hell out of each other. It's, uh, it's a bit of a unique one. And here's my pick, the Mexican veteran, Selena Figueroa, 5'3", 120 pounds. Originally from Baltimore, Maryland, of course, with that, sp a, a Spanish, uh, that Spanish heritage. Represents both, she claims. And of course, that... Mexican veteran Figueroa's been around the block once or twice, I think it would be fair to say I mean, she knows what she's doing inside those ropes this is why she's my favourite in this matchup her experience I think will shine through, I mean she's coming to EFW and, and, has, and has she missed a step? Well, no, Just I mean, one? You're right, a lot of experience outside of EFW for Selena Figueroa could very well do it here tonight. And what a match that would be. Figueroa versus Dixon for the title. 
every single one of these women could put on an absolute clinic of our champion, including this lady, the former EFW world champion, 5 foot 1, 130 pounds, Glasgow, Scotland, and on the road to redemption, Rachel Romy. Another big opportunity for Romy here tonight, but again, she's got to be considered the underdog, considering her success as women's champion. Well, yeah, I mean, Romy's greatest achievement became her greatest anchor around her feet, it seemed. But since she's lost that title, she went away, she reassessed, she's come back her win. And after a shaky start, she said, finally does seem to be finding her feet once again. Rachel Romy has improved dramatically. In the past few weeks here in EFW, she already has a women's title to her name. Shows she has a natural pedigree to go along with that talent. If Rome is in the right mind frame early, she's, she's just, in, just as much of a risk as any other one of these three ladies. Well, yeah, you're right there. And this is going to be one hell of a match. Each of these women in it, in it for the same thing, but all for different reasons. And all four of them capable of an absolute clinic with our champion. I said that before as well, and I really do mean it. We're going to get a hell of a match here tonight. Farrier taking Romy straight to the outside. Yeah, Farrier perhaps thinking Romy with that former championship experience is her is a biggest threat. Morales and Figueroa fighting on the inside. But Catwoman and Mrs. MLA have gone hardcore. Oh, another night suplex. Well, interestingly enough as well, kicking it off. Uh, the two that tag together have stayed separate in both cases. That is it, that is a good point. Uh, I think I know a beautiful drop pick on the inside to the right. It's all fire slamming the head of Romy on the outside. Just rolling her into that turnbuckle ball. Skull to steer. Pick it all in the middle of the waiting for Morales. Oh, big missile drop kick. All four ladies now back in the ring. Oh, what a simple drop kick by Pedro. Romy with a hurricane Ever on there. Romy, clearly been listening to the metal Diaz. That's something that Morales should have done. Well, Morales now. Taking out Romy. Going for Farrier with an elbow drop. Huge elbow but by Figaro. Romy Morales. Figueroa's back in, misses with an elbow, they're on, gets that one. Oh, for God, yeah, Figueroa. Big forearm to the back of the neck, and Morales, oh, and a huge elbow. Big, big elbow to the face. You now it seems Figueroa and Farrier working together, at least momentarily. Yeah, teaming up on Morales there. Good college of that arm break, Aroma's back in and goes straight for the final champion again. Knock it to the outside, Romy and Farrier clearly our business here tonight. Oh well, yeah, clearly a <sighs> unfinished score to settle on the outside of the ring. Oh, bearing in mind, ladies and gentlemen, Farrier is the one that beat Romy. Farrier is essentially the one who dethroned Romy at that championship in the very first defence. And went on that 50 day run. So Ro Roma clearly have hard feelings towards Farrier. Morales. Oh! It was in big, big trouble for Farrier. With that diving hurricane line Oh, and a kick to the champion to follow up. Romy and Figueroa again seemingly working together here, Erwin. Very oh. interesting. This is a fatal flower race, so how long will that last is the question. Well, that's it. I've seen Farrier and Morales go for each other, but I don't think, oh, apart from that break-up, I don't think I've seen Figueroa and Romy go at each other yet. Oh, well. Again. No, I thought they were going for each other then, but just walking around each other. Oh, wait. Oh, there we are, yeah. Opportune Figueroa moment. Whispered, uh, whispered in the ear of Romy. To team up on fire again, I think Romy seemingly agreed with Figueroa and a cheap shot today when the time was right. Rachel Romy, 
put one, put one on if in a row there. Oh, oh. reverse Hurricane Rana from Morales, who's re-entered the ring. Oh, that's one way to re-enter a matchup. Now Morales all of a sudden. Oh, Counted by Romy. Stopping that roll in a hurry. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh. beautiful arm drag. Tremendous arm drag by Romy Figueroa in there. Morales in the corner playing Callum Mouse. Finally connecting again in front back in the ring. It's Figueroa trying to get away from Morgan Morales. Oh, oh big kick to the gut from Farrier. Figueroa falling to the outside. Yeah, Mor Morales in there. Morales in there. Figueroa is playing my games with each other, really, just throwing, in and <laughs> throwing each other in and out the ring. Morales Tree of Raw from Farrier here. Oh, jawbreaker. But Figueroa and Morales countering, trying to get back into the ring. Morales seeming determined to try and keep it on the outside. Oh, wait. Farrier going for a pin. Oh, break up by Morales. And Josh Rolf and Gamora back in the ring and another one again now to Tafaria. We haven't seen a two count yet. Oh. But for, uh, Morales here starting to clear house. Oh wait. As she goes to the top rope, Romy trying to get a pin in. Well, Morales I've got off the rope as they're diving up to break the pin, which I would have thought would have been more logical. Offense, I didn't need to. Either way, in the end, Figueroa kicking out on their own card. Oh, oh shooting yes. star! What a shooting star press! Oh, we got out of the way briefly for Morales to land it with a foreigner and then right back to the attack. Farrier picking up remit what remains of Morales who rolls out the ring. Oh well, yeah, that's gotta done a lot of damage to Morales. Big high risk, I think trying to take out both women, but as you say, Romy getting out of the way just in time. Figueroa, however, got all of it. He was in trouble at the hands oh, of the former champion. Neck breaker. Oh, she defended her former championship with that very manoeuvre more than once. Morales is in the ring too. No, Figueroa kicks out. Figueroa kicks out. Morales wasn't close enough. That would have been all. This match continues. What a fatal four-way early to determine the number one contender for the women's title. Absolutely incredible here and it's not even our main event. Would have been a main event oh, in the world. 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 Now the EFW. Mario was waiting for Figueroa to get to her feet. Meanwhile, Morales Morales had got to hers. Brainbuster from Romy in the ring. Figueroa and Romy still battling, still measuring each other. Oh, oh Figueroa counters with a fall of a roll. Oh, 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 what a shot! Taking out Figueroa with that vicious fall. Now Romy's attention has turned to Morgan Morales. Sweet shit, what a shot! <laughs> Morgan Morales now going for Farrier. What a man! Still down. After that poor arm. I'm not surprised. Oh, what a fireman carry by uh, Romy. Oh, he's now really determined. Looking out like determined to get Focused another chance. Focused on Morales, oh, what a boot! What a big boot. Too close to the ropes, Morales getting dragged away. But now Figueroa's back in. Oh, Figueroa. Amber. Too Cross close face. to the ropes. Cross turn that breaks it. Figueroa's showing frustration there, banging her hand on the map because she knew, she knew the submission maneuver was too close to that rope. So now here we go. Helicopter oh, hurricane right No one does it better. Morales and Farrier fighting, battling. What a battle of following. Word. Who will become the new number one contender? Farrier reversing. Cheap in there for the most. Farrier breaks up the count. Well, yeah, Morales, of course, uh, after a flurry of offense, gets reversed by Farrier just in time for Farrier to break up that count. What a match. Romy Romy and Figueroa battling the centre of the ring. Figueroa. Oh, oh big drop, drop kick. kick to Romy. 
And all four women are now oh, outside of the ring. Right into the steel steps goes Morales in the hands of Farrier. The former champion gets immediately assaulted. Oh. But counters beautifully. Yeah, and yes. DDT. Yeah, it's beautiful uh, announced DDT by Farrier. Stretching out Figueroa. It was a tremendous stretch by Catwoman. Lanza Figueroa. Romeo. Oh. oh. He still starts playing the pile again, not for the first time in this match. Figueroa went head first. Romy, I think, changed direction. In mid, in mid floor there. The volume steps were tripping over our own feet. Robbie and Morales back in the ring. Farry and Figueroa on the feet in the attack. Figueroa's going for a pin here. She thinks Morales might be down. Doesn't even get a one count for a trouble. Well, I think she saw that Farrier was watching him and chose better. But after not getting an attack. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Where cross face. Cross face. It's Ted's locked in locked tight. In. Romy, though, breaking things up there. Well, that would have been all right there. Farrier won the Women's Championship with that very manoeuvre. Rachel Romy seeing that has just gone crazy on the Morales is looking to sneak a pin in. Got a two. Oh, and Morales. she does. Morales sneaks a victory out and becomes the women's number one contender. What a shock. What a shock that was. What a fatal fall away. Morales really did sneak in a pin. Romy was back. Oh, well, yeah. Farrier had done all the work. Just ruining Selena Figueroa with that cross face. Romy, as she broke it up and went for Farrier, did not notice Morgan Morales had gone for a pin instead. I think uh, Morales, showing great ring presence, realising she really didn't have to do much else than pin Selena Figueroa, who I think had been knocked out cold by the sheer aggression of Farrier's submission manoeuvre. And the only reason I, I think Figueroa hadn't tapped or the match was called is because Morales broke her up to begin with. While well, Morales, ever the opportunist here in EFW, is the new number one contender for Sakamoto Dixon's Women's Heavyweight Championship here, which means they will face off at the next EFW event for the Women's Championship of the World. Well, that's going to be absolutely incredible. Sakamoto Dixon versus Morgan Morales. That could be, well, I, I said at the start wow. of that match up here, when it could be a, it could be a clear between two uh, technical uh, technical masters, and that's exactly what we're going to see. It could be a tremendous matchup, but coming up next, our main event, and Wade Nelson has to, has to defend the championship once again against the man who cheated last night, Snake. Well. The EFW World Heavyweight Championship. This should be a great match up here, Wade. Not it's a rematch, not justifiable an rematch for Agnes Lopez in my opinion. It was an extreme rules match last night, that is not the case tonight. Tonight it will be one on one. And a fuck like Wade Nelson might get the better of a, of a pedigree performer. An, an athlete like Snake, but in a classic, classic one on one wrestling match here in. Well. I think this could be a long night for Wade Nelson. Well, if, if yesterday was anything to go by, it's going to be one hell of a match. Oh, absolutely. Snake and Nelson lit up Whiplash last night in EFW, and I'm sure they're going to do the same tonight in the compound. The second For the second night running, it will be Snake and Wade Nelson go one-on-one. -on -one. For the World Heavyweight Championship, this is just a classic one on one. And I said, a good old fashioned wrestling match. Snake will make the people wait. And the people don't mind because they're waiting for quality. Erin, quality. 18 year veteran. Seven world titles. 
the ace in the hall of the strongest group in professional wrestling today. Macrovorpus presents Snake. Alongside, it seems, Snake's confidant, Jimmy Falcon. Well, his assistant. Y- you say quality, but clearly quantity is what Snake is all about. And you know how that battle goes, because Wade Nelson definitely isn't quantity. Well, Wade Nelson is a determined young man. This guy, the veteran of this business, has held more championships than Wade Nelson has had matches. Forever with a trick up his sleeve. Hot sleeves. He's not wearing a shirt, he's in great shape. Well, they're probably up Jimmy, Jimmy Falcon's sleeves tonight. Jimmy Falcon looks good in this suit, doesn't he? I think he's seen the light. I was speaking to Jimmy earlier on. He said, well, you know, Snake's got my contract. I may as well make the best of it. And like it or not, Magnum Opus makes champions. His words are in. His words. Jimmy Falcon has seen the light. Snake's a, Snake is the master at this, I tell you. The absolute master. Oh, yeah. I, can't, I really can't believe. His second title shot in what two days. With Jimmy Falcon. And I can't believe that Snake has managed to weasel in. This match he's, against he's, Wade Nelson. How can you even? How could you even suggest that Snake has to weasel in anywhere? Didn't you listen to my introduction? Seven world titles, Erwin. Seven. And how many here in EFW? Well, that's beside the point. Oh, EF- I'm sure it is. EFW is a brand new organisation. I'm sure if it was around 20 years ago, Snake would have been winning world titles left, right, and centre. Six foot Wade Nelson stands, 240 pounds. The current EFW World Heavyweight Champion is absolutely no slouch, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it, Wade Nelson, fully fit, we're told, is ready to go from Fargo, North Dakota. Should be a great, great matchup for this title, the EFW World Heavyweight Championship, the highest title this development territory offers. One of the most important titles in the business today. We'll face that man right there, Snake. Who lost to Wade Nelson 24 hours ago. What a reaction again. Oh yeah, quite a strong reaction from the compound crowd. See, the compound saw the light many moons ago. They know, they know where where the gravy train is going and they know it's going to Magnum Opus and they want to get on board. They want to go choo-choo with the rest of us, Erwin. Well, it was nothing compared oh. to the ovation for Wade Nelson. Well, though. those people are just idiots. The silent minority cheering on Snake. Know where the train is going, Erwin. That's all I'm going to say. Well, the train may be about to be derailed once more. We shall have to see. Wade Nelson got lucky last night. There's no way on God's green earth that he's beating Snake two nights in a row. That's just not happening. Wade Nelson and Snake, one on one here tonight. We, we're about to see a new world champion. That's what we're about to see. And <laughs> they lock the up. Line. They lock up and Snake immediately powering Nelson into that corner. You don't want to get into a wrestling match, kid. And this guy. He was doing this when you were in diapers. A surprising clean break backdrop. there with a backdrop. Well, we can wrestle clean with the best of them. What do you mean surprisingly? <laughs> it's Kick to the chest. Oh, wait. Nelson oh, wait. building up a helicopter oh. there. Sheer shuffleboarding by Nelson. And it was effective to the challenger there. Pulling him away from the ropes. And oh, God. Armbreaker. How is that legal? This is a one-on-one. Nelson on the attack. Irish whip hit to the rope. Oh, oh drop kick. Oh, move, drop kick. Drop kick to the challenger. Get out, Snake. Nelson is ready. He's behind you. Do something. Oh, oh Bulldog. Oh. Do something, Falco. God damn it. What's his name? Falcon. Falcon is not even paying attention to the match. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now he is German suplex. suplex. My word, Nelson. Who is assaulting the Challenger here? God, what a cross body! Across the ever bandaged word, Nelson. Well, clearly, clearly Snake was not ready for this match. Clearly. I think that cheap shot by Nelson <laughs> earlier on. Oh. Has derailed the veteran. 
Oh yes, what a cover! What a cover by Stig! Snip moving out of the belly way. Belly to belly! Oh, take that way, Nelson! Yes! Yes! What a belly to belly, Owen! Well, don't count Nelson out yet, he is Big tough. Club. Clubs are like back. He's the only man. He might be tough, but is he conscious? He is still the only man to have beaten the Reaper. Oh, what a German suplex. Yeah, yeah, he beat the Reaper. He got lucky then too. Wade Nelson was conceived in the bed of Pauli Clovers. Well, that's news. We've known that for a while in the FW. Big club by Snake. Oh, no, German, German driving the suplex. head. Dear and Nelson God. into the mat. That was classic Snake. Oh yes, it's a Gurry. Now he's getting into his stride. Big Daddy. Going for a pin with that one. Thinks he's got yeah, it. Throw the rocky over his knee right now, I tell you that. Weird Nelson in trouble here. <laughs> yeah, Nelson. Really, really big jump misses, rolls out the way. Snake on the counters relatively quickly. Oh, oh, bringing him back in the hard way. He really was the hard way. Another German suplex right over the top rope. Well, the fans Snake. not particularly on Snake's side anymore. No, they are not. Wed Nelson. A very popular young man here in EFW is in trouble. Oh, it's a Guri. This is only Wade Nelson's second defence and they've both been against Snake. <laughs> That's brilliant. Backdrop. That's a complete setup, if you ask me. Setup. Who's winning the match of Owen? Who's winning? Well, it's not oh, over yet. Sent on. Sent on from Snake. And I'm sure, yeah. Oh, oh jawbreaker, no, jawbreaker. Jawbreaker by Nelson. This one is not over. Oh, oh sit out. Oh, bomb. Nelson. Oh, Nelson is feeling it here. Feeding off this crowd. This capacity crowd. What oh. an idiot in his corner. What a suplex. And a challenger. Do something, another. Do something. Oh, now. super kick. Now. To cross on the ropes. Nelson's going to have to move him. He is. Oh, oh it's a Gary. It's a Gary. Look how Snake is hung up on the bottom <laughs> row. Literally fell onto the bottom row. He could row. very well be out here, Falcon. That veteran instinct of Falcon the Falcon is doing nothing. No, and not only a two. one. Not even a two! That move popped down the reaper! Well that got Falcon's attention as well it seems. That is why he's a seven time world champion Owen. Oh, small package release. Nelson however. Oh, he's going up top. What's Falcon doing? Oh, red arrow! Oh, that could be it! Nothing! Why is he clapping this? Two! No! Oh, there we no. go! It seems Jimmy Falcon isn't all too happy still about being under the wing of Snake, refusing to get involved in this wonderful matchup. Red, red Nelson, what again? What again? Victorious! With his cheap shot at it over the seventh time world champion. Second night in a row, Snake has failed. No! Look at that, look at that ring fence though, by the challenger. Look how he just there went for the bottom rope just in the nick of time after that look at his insecurity. Look how all consciousness left his <laughs> body as he got his head wrapped around a huge kick from Wade Nelson before that beautiful red arrow. That's clearly an illegal manoeuvre. Look at look at Falcon there. I love it. Look at this. I love it. it. Snake will not be happy whenever he wakes up. This is absolutely outrageous. <laughs> Jimmy Falcon's just looking at him on the floor as he's rolled to the outside. He's just realised he's going to have to drag him back. There's no Vega here tonight, as far as I know. 
Well, that's lucky for Wade Nelson because he's not here to last of this. There's going to be a price to pay because you do not put one over a magnum opus twice and live to tell the tale. What a night. What an AFW. We'll see you at Riot. Good night. My God. <laughs>